Welcome. In front of me is a Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4 and today I'll show you how you can record screen on this phone. So to get started you'll want to pull down your notifications, extend the list and in here somewhere you'll find a screen recording toggle. For me it's located right over here so once you see yours you can either hold it this will take you to the settings where you can customize how it actually records or you can simply tap on it to start recording immediately. Now in the settings we do have a couple of things that you might want to check out for instance like what kind of sound is being recorded. So we have uh, none, media or media and mic. Now when using the last one media and mic I do recommend using headphones. This will nivellate some kind of echo effect that might be created when the microphone will be picking up the speakers. Now below that we have video quality. It is set to the highest one so that's good I would, I would recommend keeping it at that, at that if you want you can drop it to 720p though i don't actually recommend it especially on this kind of size right here it will start looking a little bit blurry and we have also selfie size so this is actual size that will be visible on the video recording and obviously we also have a toggle uh, so the toggle will be visible once we start recording so you can turn it on once you're recording if you want to and if you want to you can make it obviously larger or smaller there we go i'm just gonna make it large so you can see it on the video easier and last thing we have the show taps and touches this will just simply record where you are touching the display if you want this you can enable it though for for instance gameplay recordings i wouldn't recommend keeping this on it might be a little bit distracting so anyway, once you went through the settings right here, you can just close this off and you don't have to come back here again. And now let's find the toggle once more, tap on it. Now it gives us again the option for what kind of media or sounds will be recorded and also if you want to record the taps and touches, which actually I will enable just so you can also see how that looks like. It starts a countdown, which you can, which as you can see, I could just uh, bypass. And you have right here the timer. We can do a couple of things like draw on the on the screen with this annoying sound. There's the selfie. Now it looks a little bit weird as you can see this halo effect because this is the under display one. So it's not necessarily the best. You can also pause the video and obviously stop it, which I'll stop. Once you save your or stop your screen recording, it will be saved in your photos application. It's right here under camera. Oh wait, no, never mind, not camera, screen recording. There we go. And I can just tap on it to view it. As you can see, it records it at full resolution of the screen, so you don't have any black bars. Though keep in mind, if you're gonna be viewing that anywhere else, on like a computer, uh, usually those have 16 by nine aspect ratio. So you will have black bars basically on the sides right here. So there we go, that's the screen recording. Anyway, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.